Good day to everyone. I'm Mad, Wantamad, and welcome to another video here at Weed Farms. So I have here an empty black soldier fly bin. So let's go through the parts so we can see how it works. So let's remove the lid to see the parts of our black soldier fly bin. The lid is where our flies lay eggs. There you will see a, a drain hole at the bottom where the leachate drains and you will see a ramp. This is where they self-harvest and exit here inside the, a PVC elbow. So here we have a working black soldier fly larvae bin. Let's look at the inside and see how it works. Now what you see are different size black soldier fly larvae. You can see the big larvae climbing up the ramp and self-harvesting. When they're full, they self-harvest into a container outside the ramp. The adult black soldier fly will lay its eggs on top of the lid and the small black soldier fly larvae will hatch and fall down our compost. As they feed on the compost, they become larger and is now ready to self-harvest. We feed our black soldier fly larvae with our cooked kitchen scraps, making sure that we only put enough amount that they can consume. We also give our larvae our vegetable scraps. To prevent foul odor from our bins, we only place enough kitchen scraps that they can consume. We also feed our black soldier fly to our fish. We give it to our chicks as a high-protein meal. And our hens love it. There you have it, our black soldier fly larvae bin. Again, thank you for watching our videos. To learn more about how we make farming easy here at Made Farms, subscribe to my YouTube channel Madoda or add us on Facebook Modular Aquaponics. See you in the next videos. I'm trying to farm here. It's important that the vermicast is dry so it's easier to sieve it through the mesh.